Welcome to Popular Cruising. You're watching our review of the Viking Star, the first ocean ship from Viking Cruises. Following the success of Viking River Cruises, Viking Ocean Cruises is set to become just as popular on the high seas. Starting with the accommodations and the elevator lobbies, the ship's comfortably elegant decor is first introduced. The light woods and colors should be instantly recognizable to past guests of Viking River Cruises' signature longships. We personally enjoyed Penthouse Veranda number 5096. Complete with coffee maker and an abundance of space, more reminiscent of a hotel room than a usual ship cabin. Highlights include an entertainment system with complimentary selections like Downton Abbey and a fully stocked included minibar. The veranda is a prime spot for enjoying complimentary 24-hour room service and passing vistas such as London on the Thames River. Other amenities we liked were several USB charging stations and plentiful lighting. Bathrooms pleasantly include very low-rise threshold entrances. The oversized shower was particularly nice, although we do wish there was a separate shelf for shampoos and soaps. And just like the rest of the room, the space here is open and airy. While not L'Occitane is on the rivers, the color-coded toiletries here are still just as nice. Stepping up in increasing size and amenities is the Penthouse Junior Suite. A wider room with his and her sinks and an even larger shower in the bathroom. The lovely Explorer Suites occupy the forward and aft corners of the ship, with the separate living room and bedroom and this luxurious shower and tub combo with a view. Still, the ultimate accommodations on board come in the form of the palatial owner suite, including a dedicated boardroom, living room, and dining room. Impressively, this suite even affords you the opportunity to dine with the captain, and even more exclusively tour the bridge and engine room. Of course, the private bedroom and master bath also impress as does a private sauna with floor-to-ceiling window views and an expansive open-air veranda. And as for activities available to everyone, the plexiglass-sided cantilevered infinity pool is a great place to begin. It's especially a great place, complete with hot tub, to relax at on a sea day. And even on port days, it's a great spot to take in the surroundings. Just up one deck, there's plenty more plush seating. And lots of railing for the ship's company of explorers. And while not on the immediate horizon, we can't wait for Viking to send one of its ships to Alaska. Going up another deck, you can see the pool's expansive retractable Magradome. And the ship's sports deck. Complete with classic shuffleboard outdoor exercise equipment, and mini golf putting green. The aforementioned pool, underneath the enclosed or open megadome, exhibits lots of natural light. The ship's premium decor and furnishings, a modern pool itself and integrated hot tub, a live music bandstand and screen behind these panels, and plenty of loungers. Always enclosed, but also under natural light, is the Winter Garden. The social gathering space is another of the ship's perfect retreats, even if only to enjoy some quiet time to read a book. The adjacent side lanais can also be opened or enclosed to the Winter Garden. When isolated, it's one of the quietest and coziest places on board. But hands down, our favorite venue on board is the Explorer's Lounge. When far too many other ships are losing observation lounges, Viking has embraced the feature and even made it a double-decker space. With staircases that remind us of an Apple store. And lots of forward-facing windows over the bow. The classic telescope is certainly a nice touch. And rather than a dedicated library and game room, there are books and plenty of tables to enjoy games all throughout the ship. 
and were particularly fond of these fun display drawers. Filled with interesting international artifacts. And come dusk and evening, the Explorer's Lounge lights up to be even more magical, with illuminated constellation drawings. In a pleasant change of pace, there is no casino, nor photo and art galleries, intent on extra revenue. But there is a selection of fine, convenient shops on board. And as an example of high technology enhancing the guest experience, iPod Touches quickly and efficiently check you out. As someone who's ordinarily not a spa person, I can honestly say the Live Nordic Spa on board was quite impressive. Enough so that even I partook in a one-of-a-kind luxury beard treatment that was most relaxing. The modern fitness center includes machines for everyone's routine. And the changing rooms come complete with a whirlpool and dry sauna. As well as a relaxing lounging area with windows to the outside. That leads to the central spa facility with awesome simulated fire, a soothing thalassotherapy pool and hot tub that I too personally enjoyed. There's also a great waterfall feature and heated tile beds. And lastly, in the traditional Norwegian way, there's a steam room that can be enjoyed before heading over to the polar opposite. A rejuvenating onboard snow room. And at the heart of the ship is the Viking living room with the central grand atrium and its high resolution digital display at the top of the stairs that creatively rotates and showcases images of destinations yet to come. Wi-Fi is complimentary on board, but for those who don't have their own devices, there are internet stations below. And across the way is the Explorer's Desk for guest relations. As in the Observation Lounge, books are found everywhere, contributing to the ship's wonderful residential feel. On the second floor of the living room is an excellent Viking Heritage exhibit that curates a number of historical Norwegian items. With its great seating and natural light, the venue serves as a perfect gathering place for conversations and games. And it also features this awesome ship's model. On any cruise ship, dining is very important. And while Viking doesn't espouse to be a luxury line, it comes awfully close with wonderful service from watering holes like the Viking Bar and delicious food from venues like Manfredi's Italian Restaurant, one of the ship's specialty restaurants that requires reservations, but not extra fees. The decor here is handsome without being over-designed and serves to accentuate dishes like a colorful caprese salad, a citrusy scampi pasta, savory oso buco, and a refreshing Moscato dessert. Next door, the Chef's Table specialty restaurant is decidedly more plain in decor. But there's plenty of wine and still some in the way of decoration. You can even display the venue's fixed menus at one of the ship's interactive displays. Menus like Sweet and Salty featuring tomato and watermelon gazpacho, grilled scallops with beets and passion fruit, prosciutto and melon granita, veal tenderloin with pumpkin and red onion marmalade, and strawberry and basil delight. In between the specialty restaurants is the kitchen table, a premium interactive cooking demonstration and dining experience that features visiting a local market with the chef. And just upstairs is the ship's main dining room, simply titled The Restaurant. Although we hear it may soon be called The Dining Room to be more in line with The Viking Living Room. 
here no table is ever far away from a window view, thanks to the centrally located galley and wraparound seating. In warmer climates, the restaurant can become instantly al fresco, with its complete perimeter of patio doors along the promenade deck and extra seating outside. Fare here includes premium items like soft shell crab and lobster risotto. Upstairs, the World Cafe features mostly the same food items as the restaurant in a more casual buffet atmosphere. Here too the cafe can become al fresco with its own patio door surrounds. Nice features here include an open display kitchen where you can see your food being prepared like fresh pesto pasta and carved prime rib. Even premium sushi and sashimi is offered. And here we found some of the best ice creams at sea. The World Cafe extends to the stern of the ship at the Aquavit Terrace. Another wonderfully open-air venue, inspired by the venue of the same name on board the Viking longship riverboats, with tables inside and outside along the infinity pool and 270 degree views of ports of call like Bergen, Norway. Here the deck creatively flares cantilevered out to provide even more space, including another passageway to the pool and pool grill. Here a wide selection of freshly made grill items and sandwiches is prepared, and a lovely side salad bar accompanies it along with plenty of poolside seating. Our favorite item here was the Pancho Villa burger, top of blue cheese, arugula, avocado, and a chipotle sauce. And adjacent to it is the pool bar. And on Viking, house beers, wines, and soft drinks are available complimentarily during lunch and dinner. Back at the Winter Garden in the afternoons is tea time with a large selection of hot beverages and classic scones and jelly. Say hello to Viking CEO Torstein Hagen as we head to Momsen's, a traditional Norwegian deli with complimentary treats that rotate throughout the day, including tasty heart-shaped waffles topped with jelly and fruit. And since Momsen's is located within the Explorer's Lounge, you can enjoy such treats while gazing upon the passing scenery. And don't forget to try the excellent split pea soup in the evenings. Since the primary focus of Viking is the destination, the entertainment on board follows a slightly different format, but does still feature live music and a pool screen. Interactive tables throughout the ship also feature said destinations. With river cruise and ocean cruise photographs, as well as videos, that can be enjoyed while relaxing in the Explorer's Lounge and Viking Living Room. A venue featuring impromptu dance performances such as this. As well as live music. Torshaven is the ship's club lounge. A moody and jazzy venue. also featuring live music. As well as vintage Armagnacs from the years 1935 to 1965. Two cinemas are featured on board that cleverly open up to the main theater for extra lecture and show seating. The Star Theater itself is a simple space but also a classy one. Pillows with black and white portraits of vintage Norwegian actors and actresses are also a very nice touch. Lectures are a highlight on board, including this one presented by a former Concorde pilot. Viking has even partnered up with TED for additional programming in the near future. Production shows play well to the audience and show promise based on their creativity and more theatrical narrative approach. 
Cassettes are comprised primarily of a large digital screen in the background. Sung numbers include favorites from Phantom of the Opera. And while more limited, there is still some dancing involved. All in all, entertainment might be Viking's only shortcoming, with production quality that's a bit lacking. Nonetheless, the Viking Star overall is an absolute winner that approaches luxury quality at an astounding value. And now that the Fat Lady has sung, we can say thank you for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, check out our other Viking videos, and visit popularcruising.com.